Hello everyone, this is Rosetta Wolf, the Violet Wolf Witch, your favorite spiritual YouTuber. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, then thank you and welcome back. If you are interested in evolving to your highest spiritual selves together, be sure to click the notification bell down below for more videos like this one, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And with that, let's get into today's video topic, which is Litha or celebrating the summer solstice. Now, today I am recording on June 20th, 2023, the last day of spring, at least calendar-wise. We know in the Midwest here that we are bound to get any winter, autumn weather tomorrow, the next day, and then bounce right back to 90 degree weather, right? So for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere that are celebrating summer tomorrow, at least on the calendar, this video is for you and for ways to incorporate the elements and the season into your life. This video is suitable for you. And don't worry if you are not catching this right on time. You can still celebrate throughout the summer and harness the powers of the season within yourself. So this is a special summer uh, for Leos, especially Venus is in Leo. So be on the lookout for sparks of romance whether you're already in a relationship or you're looking or open to one it's going to be a fun ride for us leos if you are not a leo this still applies to all fire signs if you have any uh, fire signs within your horoscope whether it be rising anywhere we all still have a fire within us right so if you are fortunate enough to have a backyard with a fire pit uh, if you are in a spot that you could do a bonfire, that is a typical way to celebrate and welcome in the summer solstice. Uh, pretty traditional to do a bonfire on midsummer. So if you can't, then of course you can just light candles around the house. Uh, sunbathe, make sure to be responsible, of course. Especially if you have tattoos, make sure to protect them. Just go out in nature and enjoy the elements of the sun. And this time of year, if you've been working on any long-term goals, any long-term manifestations, of course, we know that energetically, it doesn't matter whether we view a manifestation as big or small. Um, it's all the same in the universe's language vibrations, right? But if there's something that in your mind is a bigger manifestations such as a new car manifesting a home moving from an apartment to being a homeowner um, getting into a certain university and across the state move anything that you would view as a larger manifestation that you have been working on throughout the darker months the winter months then summer is an amazing time um, typically that these larger manifestations would manifest. So I'd love to hear what you've been working on manifesting. What are your long-term goals? If you'd love to share down in the comments, I'm interested. I always like to see what people are aspiring to, and it's wonderful in our community to help uplift each other, right? We are all aspiring to a greater life, and I believe that that's why we're all here is to help each other get to our end goals and to evolve to our highest spiritual selves and to truly enjoy this human experiencing human experience that we are here for as spiritual beings. Now, a typical way that you could celebrate midsummer is to do some sun tea, charge some water outside in the sun and get the spark of the season going within you. Since we are mostly made of water, it is a good idea to charge something that you would drink, such as sun tea or water out in the sun. Um, so if you could do that, you can put it in a windowsill if you are stuck in an apartment. Um, if you have a balcony, you can put it out on the balcony. You are a homeowner, rent a house, and you have a yard, then you can put a few bottles out in the yard of filtered water or your favorite tea. Um, make sure to steep it as strong as you like before doing so. Otherwise, it could be quite astringent. That's not your thing. Um, I myself prefer something sweeter or floral like jasmine tea. Make sure to use a glass bottle if you do this. Otherwise, you're just going to be releasing chemicals that are in a plastic bottle. So keep that in mind. 
Um, though we are spiritual beings, we are in human bodies that can be quite sensitive. So that is a great way to work with the elements this time of year. Like I said, you don't have to do this directly on, excuse me. If you don't have the opportunity to do this on summer solstice or Midsummer's Eve, then you could still do this seasonally throughout the year. Charge your water or your tea in the sun. Uh, you can even uh, rub your hands together and put it around the glass bottle and charge it with the manifestations of what you want when you are drinking it. You'll feel a sort of humming sensation in your hand and you'll know that it's working. You can visualize white or violet light. I find that that helps a lot. Or if you are using the sun or the moon, a color that you feel resonates with it or resonates with a corresponding chakra. Um, another great way to use the elements of this season would be to charge a crystal that would not be bleached by the sun. For example, I absolutely adore amethyst, um, but if I leave it out in the sun, even on a windowsill, it will go from a dark purple hue to more of a hazy lavender. So be sure to just go ahead and Google search what are sun safe crystals. So if you have any citrine, um, carnelian, obsidian, jet, any safe, um, any safe crystals that would not be bleached or discolored by the sun, you can also do the same thing as far as rubbing your hands together and charging them with what you want to bring into your household or what you want to use them for. If you carry them in your pocket, your purse. I myself uh, work in a very stressful healthcare environment and I tend to charge and carry obsidian with me in my pocket for protection. Um, always good to do that regardless of where you work. Um, the elements that you come into, the energies that you come into on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So more importantly, even if you are a water or air sign or earth sign and you don't have fire in your natal chart or if you have little to none, um, it's still, there's fire within all of us because we all are passionate about something in our life, right? So I really want you to not dismiss this time of year. This time of year, life is flourishing. Our manifestations come into fruition. It's a time of harvesting what you have sown, right? You reap what you sow. Um, this is a time where all life is thriving. Um, everything is abundant. There's new growth just bursting everywhere. There's all sorts of life that's out that's usually hibernating in the colder darker months right so i want you to harness the energy of the season regardless of whether you despise summer or if you you know don't have any fire signs within your natal chart if um if it's not typically an energy that you work with if you think of the uh, pentacle right the star shape it's in human form um and it's all the elements combined along with spirit in its you know, shape of human. So we are the embodiment of the pentacle. We have all the elements within us, regardless of what is our star sign, our rising sign, whatever is within our chart, whatever we were born under. We all share the same life force energy and the same elemental energy. Um, I encourage you, if you have a green thumb, to let your house plants sit out in the sun for a while and get some actual sun instead of just being indoor plants. Um, plants are actually, if you do have a green thumb or if you don't, I encourage you to try. I think that we can all learn, right? We can all learn and resonate what the earth has to offer us. They're actually very protective. If they start, if you do have a green thumb and they start just dying out of nowhere. Um, for example, I, had a friend in high school that gave me an orchid and I adore orchids. I've always been pretty good with orchids, um, which are a strangely particular plant to deal with, right? Um, very tropical and where I live is most definitely not tropical. I find that they thrive off of almost um, neglect, which is so funny. I think that's why people tend to not do well with them is that they try 
too hard and uh, <laughs> they don't do too well, but I always did very well with orchids. I could keep them reblooming. And I know people who, you know, as soon as it stopped blooming, they would throw it out. And then when they met me, they would start giving it to me because I could get it to rebloom again several times throughout the year. And most people could only get one or two blooms a year and toss them out. They treat them as disposable plants, which is crazy to me. Um, even if they're not so pretty, not in bloom, right? They're still living things. And, you know, you can get them to live for years and years and to thrive and give back energy back and forth to each other. You know what I mean? Um, but I had this friend who gave me an orchid. And at one point we had a rift in our relationship. And out of nowhere, I had had this orchid for years and years. And I picked it up one day um, to water it. And it just fell apart. It looked perfectly healthy. It had blooms and everything. But it fell apart when I picked it up. And plants actually are there to protect you. They absorb negative energies, just like a crystal or an evil eye bracelet may be breaking. It's absorbed energy that could have energetically harmed you. Um, I remember commenting on, you know, a video of somebody, you know, what does this mean? And their evil eye had broken. And it's like you thank it cleanse and you get a new one and a bunch of people mocked the comment of you think a bracelet well yes there's energy within the bracelet you've respectfully put energy into the bracelet whether you made it um whether somebody gave it to you as a gift it has an energy that protects you so honor that there's no harm in thanking that energy and then moving on and carrying forth with more protective Forces, right? It's just like mocking prayer. It it doesn't hurt whether you believe it or not. It it doesn't hurt. And hey, let's be respectful of each other's beliefs, right? <laughs> um, but regardless of what your beliefs are, I want you to try nurturing the fire within yourself. What is it that you are passionate about? If you have larger manifestations that have not come to fruition yet. I don't want you to give up. I want you to work with the fire energy, the life force energy that is everywhere around us this time of year. And I want you to stay hopeful and see the beauty in the life that is bursting out all around you. And think of how hard it is for all these beautiful plants. I have a bunch of lilies outside my window right now. And I didn't expect them to come back. I planted them last year. And I knew they could come back, but I have the squirrel that likes to eat things and uh, I didn't expect them to come back. And here they are again. They came back, they're blooming. They forced themselves through the weight of the soil and they're thriving. I barely did anything. I pretty much forgot about them. Just like often when we detach from manifestation, it's just thriving on its own. You know, we planted the seed and we are connected with the universe. The universe doesn't forget about the seed that we planted, even if we do. So there's new life and growth bursting forth everywhere. And I want you to nurture the fire that's within yourself, whether it be with crystals, sunbathing, gardening, whatever it is that resonates with you this time of year. If you love butterflies, do a butterfly garden, go to a conservatory. If you can go bathing in a natural body of water, like the beach, I want you to appreciate nature and really absorb nature and how you are truly one with the universe. And I want you to realize how powerful you are and that you can manifest any sort of growth in your life that you are wanting. And I just, I hope that this video really helped you out, even if it only helps out a few people. I encourage you to really honor the growth that you've had since last summer throughout this past season throughout all of these dark winter months and thank yourself and know that you're going to go as far in life as you are wanting to go i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye